learning a new CAD system may seem like a daunting task. If you're a SOLIDWORKS user, you'll be surprised how easy it is to transfer your knowledge and be up to speed in Onshape in no time. Here are six things that will help smooth the transition. Learning new mouse button combinations to pan, zoom and rotate your models on screen is no easy task. So before you do anything, go to Manage Accounts in the pull-down menu under your name, then Preferences. There you can set which CAD system buttons you want to emulate. Select SOLIDWORKS from the menu and all your mouse button and keyboard combinations are set the way you like them. You can even reverse the mouse wheel direction if you so wish. While you're there, don't forget to set your default units. In Onshape, there are no files. A single Onshape document can hold as many parts, assemblies and drawings as you like. You create your parts in a part studio, which works just like a multi-body part in SOLIDWORKS, except that each new body created is a part in its own right. This means that you can share sketches and features across multiple parts and any design references that you add, like Use Edge or Up to Face, do not rely on the position of a component in an assembly, so they're more robust and always up to date. Since a part studio behaves like an assembly of fixed parts, in many cases there's no need to create an assembly at all. Assemblies in Onshape are for defining linkages and checking motion, or for assembling many duplicate parts or fasteners. Parts can be assembled with a single mate, replacing the two or three mates that would be required in SOLIDWORKS. Choose a mate type, then hover your mouse over faces and edges to select a mate connector on each part. As the mate connectors line up, your defined motion is created. If it's not quite what you want, you can add offsets and limits by editing the definition of the mate connector. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to build your assemblies much faster using Onshape. With Onshape there's no need to save early and save often. In fact, there is no save button at all. Every edit you make to every tab in your document is recorded, giving you unlimited undo-redo. You can jump backwards and forwards through your design changes at will, right back to when the document was first created, so you'll never overwrite or lose data again, no matter what. And when you reach a milestone in your design, or you want to reuse your components in another document, simply create a read-only version. With data management tools built in, there's no need for separate PDM software, no check-in, check-out, and everyone works on the latest version. To collaborate with a colleague, a supplier, or even a customer, there's no need to send files by email, convert your data into other formats, ask them to download e-drawings, or pay for another PDM license. Under one simple share dialog in Onshape, you can invite one or more users into your document using just their email address. Each user can have edit, comment or view only access. And if they don't have an Onshape account, they can still view and measure in a web browser on Mac, Linux or PC. With full edit permissions, you can both edit the same part or assembly at the same time even on mobile devices, or branch off an existing version to perform design studies or prepare part geometry for simulation. And finally, you'll probably want to reuse some of your existing SOLIDWORKS designs. Onshape can read and write native SOLIDWORKS part and assembly files, but the most efficient way of importing an assembly is to use Pack and Go. In SOLIDWORKS, go to File, Pack and Go, select Zip File and press OK. By default, SOLIDWORKS gives the zip file the same name as the assembly. Onshape uses this name to work out which assembly to open. Next, check the option to import in the y-axis up direction as it is in SOLIDWORKS and you're good to go. You can then use your SOLIDWORKS models as they were originally designed or edit them with Onshape's powerful direct editing tools. There are dozens of videos and tutorials on our website and weekly webinars on various topics to help you learn. You can also access the online help, the forums, and the feedback tool from the help menu in the top right corner. You'll find that moving from SOLIDWORKS to Onshape is really straightforward. The design workflows and methodologies are almost identical, but you're getting the added benefits you only get with full cloud CAD.